A shocking upset in New Jersey's 3rd District truck driver Edward Durr wins over longtime state Senate President Steve Sweeney. Thanks for joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Jason Martinez. Now, Durr has never held office before, and Sweeney has been in the Senate for 20 years. Our Jeff Cole spoke to both candidates. He's live in West Deptford. And, Jeff, this is an absolutely unprecedented political victory by a man who has called himself an average working New Jerseyan. Yeah, well, he certainly is that. He certainly seems to be that. That is uh, how he talks when we talk to him today. Edward Dura said he is certainly excited to be declared the winner by the Associated Press, but he says he will wait for an official response a little later on in the month. State Senate President Steve Sweeney, the longtime incumbent, says he's not giving up just yet. In workout clothing and unshaven, New Jersey Senate President Steve Sweeney admits it doesn't look good for him, but he's not giving up. If you've lost, what do you think? If, well, look, I'm in a conservative district to start with. And it, it was a tide. It's frustrating to watch what's happening in Washington. It's why his two decades in Trenton at the very seat of power is coming to an end, says the Associated Press brought down by a 58-year-old truck driver with a few thousand bucks in campaign cash. Guy raised about $7,000. Yeah. And he's got you. Well, right now it looks that way. But... It's, it, listen, it had nothing to do with me. The Gloucester County Democrat says anger over the pandemic, masks, and vaccine mandates played a role in what looks to be a 2,300 vote loss to Edward Durr, who took the day off driving for a furniture company to handle reporters banging at his door. You took Sweeney out, 20 year incumbent, president I didn't of the take state him senate. Out. You I didn't take him out. out. I didn't take him out. It wasn't you. It was the people, it was the roads. They were heard. Durr, whose 80-year-old mom lives next door in Swedesboro, says Sweeney should have stood up to Governor Murphy's heavy-handed COVID mandates. Sweeney says he saved jobs and created new ones. Surprised, yes. Disappointed? Must be. I'm very disappointed just because of the amount of work that we've done here in this district and the resources that we've brought here. But at the end of the day, the voters have a right to speak. Sweeney says he doesn't believe voters grew tired of their 20-year state senator, but he wants to make sure by counting all the mail-in ballots. I just want the people that voted to have their votes counted. And then we'll look and see whether there's a need for a recount or we just accept the, the results of the election. So you're not conceding here? No, I can't. I can't. I don't think it's right to the people that voted for me. So we will see. State Senate President Steve Sweeney says that he was eyeing a run for governor, and even if he's lost, he may still run. In West Deptford, Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News.